Hello everyone, it's Enigma here. Nintendo confirmed in a Nintendo Direct Mini that just randomly shadow dropped that Challenger Pack 6 for Fighters Pass Volume 2 and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is someone from ARMS, and I'm actually pretty stoked. I think an ARMS rep will actually be kind of fun with the extendable ARMS, and I think that it will provide a very unique gameplay, which is something that Sakurai confirmed that this character is going to have a gimmick that no other character has really had before, so I'm actually pretty excited for this character to see what it has to offer. However, the review was kind of weird. Uh, it's Nintendo didn't really confirm who exactly the ARMS rep is. They really just said, yep, the character is from ARMS, find out in June, but they didn't really specify who it is. And that's led to a lot of people, um, you know, predicting who they think this ARMS rep will be. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to predict who I think this ARMS representative is going to be. Um... Um, I got the list of the ARMS characters here, so I'm going to just list them off. Um, I'm going to start with the characters I don't think are going to be the ARMS rep. That's what I'm going to start off with. And I'm saying this is a Bite and Bark main, the only Bite and Bark main in existence. I don't think Bite and Bark are going to be the ARMS representative. I just think they'd be a weird representative. They're by far the least recognizable on the original roster, and I don't really see arms i don't really see sakurai wanting an arms character with, with that is like a duo i i think that'd be kind of weird and uh like i said bite and bark are easily the least recognizable and i just don't really see sakurai pulling for something like bite and bark i would love it because bite and bark are my mains in arms but i don't see it happening and yeah i i, I really don't see bite and bark happening um the next characters, I'm going to be talking about these three at the same exact time. Lollipop, Misango, and Springtron. Lollipop and Misango, I don't think are going to be in. They were added after the game launched, and that was kind of the point when people just were starting to not really care about ARMS. So, I don't think they're going to be chosen as their rep, and I, I don't see it. Um, Springtron, on the other hand... Okay, come on. Why would they choose Springtron over Springman? I could see Springtron being like an alt of Springman, or or Springtron could be the replacement for the Springman assist trophy. I've heard that theory uh, brought up a lot of times. I actually think that could be possible. Um, I just don't think Springman. I mean, Springtron is going to be the playable representative. Like th th that's just weird. He will either be an alt or an assist trophy. Um. Now, this next one, I think, is going to upset a lot of people, but I don't think the ARMS representative is going to be Twintel. I know Twintel is a is, is a fan favorite, and I, I get that, but anyways, I just don't see Twintel happening. She fights with her hair and not her arms, and I think that'd be kind of weird for an ARMS representative to not even use their arms when every other character does. I just don't think that, you know, Twintel would make a whole lot of sense for that. Again, I know she's a fan favorite, but I just don't think she'd represent ARMS the right way. And also, she's very similar to an already existing character in the roster. She fights with her hair and slows down time, which that basically describes Bayonetta to a T, and I just don't think that... I just don't really see the point. You know, if we got Bayonetta who already does all of that, then I don't really see the sense in including Twintel, especially when there's a bunch of other representatives on the roster that would definitely represent ARMS better, in my opinion. So I don't see Twintel happening. Um, as much as she is a fan favorite, I get that. I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, now, the next characters I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about um, these three at the exact same time. Um... Master Mummy, Mechanica, and Kid Cobra. I, I don't really have a reason why I why they won't be chosen. I just don't think they will. Uh, I just don't. I, I like with Master Mummy and Mechanica. I don't think an arms rep is going to be like a heavyweight. I really don't. And Kid Cobra again. He's not really the most recognizable. Kind of like Bite and Bark. So I just don't really see it. Um, that that that's just that's just my opinion, honestly. Um. But now we're going to get into the characters that I do think are possible to be the arms rep. 
Um, I actually think it, uh, it's possible Helix could be the arms rep. He's a fan favorite, and I, he fights with his arms, and, you know, I, I think I think it would be interesting to have this, like, gooey slime just, like, as a playable character. I think that would be cool, and I think this would be a character Sakurai would go for. Um, the only reason I don't think he is exactly the arms rep is just because, I don't know, like... Helix is in a weird position. I I can either I can either 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 see him happening or I can either see him not happening. I think it could be either or. Uh, but I do think Helix is possible. Um, I actually do think Helix is a real possibility. Now, these next two, some people might not agree, but I actually do think these two are possible to be the arms rep. One is Max Brass, and the other is Dr. Coyle. Now, I know that I've, I know that I neglected Lollipop and Misango because they were added as DLC, and the same thing happened with Max Brass and Dr. Coyle. However, they're important to the lore of ARMS, and I do think that, you know, we knew about their existence before they were added as playable characters. So even though that we weren't able to play with them, we still knew about their existence, and they were really important to the lore of ARMS. And I think that, you know, um, especially since characters like Springman, Ribbon Girl, N Ninjara, Min Min, Twinto are all, like, assist trophies and spirits, I think that Sakurai could pull for, like, if if those rules are in place and we can't see uh, assist trophy and spirit upgrades, that I think it is possible that Sakurai will either, like, I think it's, the next likely, I think these two are the next likely scenario. One of these two, if the assist trophy spirit rule is actually a thing, then I do think that Max Brass and Dr. Coyle have a very strong chance of being the representatives. Now, before I now before I talk about you know the last four, um, I want to kind of go over a theory that I've been hearing, and that is a character from a unannounced Arms Two. I don't think this is gonna happen. I uh, I don't I I don't think it's Nintendo to kind of just like show this whole roster of just arms characters and just say hey you know those arms characters we teased in that mini direct well it turns out it's none of them and it's a character from these arms sequel that you guys don't even know exists like I don't see Nintendo doing something like that I think it would be clever to kind of get like an announcement of a game. At tying into a smash reveal at the same time but i just don't see it happening i feel i feel like um and especially since like spring man and ribbon girl i think they will always be like the poster boy poster girl of the arms franchise and sakurai um sakurai and nintendo basically explicitly said that this is a character from arms they didn't say that this was a character from the arms series now if they said that i would have probably think I would have actually had this as a possibility, but since he said that it's a character specifically from ARMS, I don't think it will be someone from ARMS 2. I don't. Um, I think an ARMS 2 is pretty likely, but I don't think that, you know, it's going to be a character from ARMS 2. I don't. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that theory out of the way. Now, we have four characters left. And I think these four characters are going to be the arms rep. What? No, no, I'm not saying like four characters taking up this the, the past. No, that's not what I'm saying. I think this will be a hero situation. Now I now I do understand that, you know, different characters have different arms and special abilities. I get that. I've played arms. I understand that. But the main gimmick of arms is using your arms. And I I think that, you know, like I, I think that like they all have similar gameplay. Like, they don't always have the same special abilities, but I, I think that, you know, like, they all don't have the same abilities, but they also use their arms. And I think with situations like Ribbon Girl and Arms is the only character to have two jumps, have more than one jump. And in Smash, you every character has more than one jump. So they can easily, like, make that happen for, like, Springman. And definitely out of these characters, these are the characters that fit the same body style the most. Um, I chose Springman and Ribbon Girl, obviously, because they're, they're like, the poster boy, poster girl of the franchise. But I also chose Ninjara and Min Min because they're the two most popular 
arms represent um arms characters according to that pool min min was number one but on that pool ninjara was number two and i think um you know if they want to if sakurai wants to represent the two uh biggest uh characters from arms and feature some fan favorites as well i can really see him going with this he like hero situation i have played arms i do get they have special abilities that make them different but in the most for the most part they do play the same they always fight with their arms and i just think that you know having them as alts actually works and i think this is the most likely scenario especially with how they announce it like i, I just feel like it wouldn't i just feel like it never really made sense that they just just like reveal who this arms rep is and the way they're sounding it makes it really look like they're going to do this i think that so my prediction for the arms representative is that it's going to be a hero situation with spring man ribbon girl ninjara and min min that's my prediction um but i think it's also possible i, I think the other stuff is possible too but this is the thing i'm betting on the most i think that this is the approach nintendo was taking for arms i i think it i think it not only makes sense but it's just fitting for arms because arms doesn't really have a main character and i think if you go with someone that isn't spring man it would be weird and you know i, I just think i just think that you know if they want to represent arms include some fan favorites include you know the main like iconic characters as alt i think that makes sense and then that's what i'm betting on for this arms rep uh, but, hey, what do I know? Um, I, I could be completely wrong, but th this is personally what I'm betting on right now. So, what are your opinions on the arms rep? Who do you guys think the arms rep is gonna be? Let me know in the comments down below, and I would love to hear it. Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.